Well, hello, my name is Bertie. How are you guys doing? I, uh, I heard uh, that America has a new president. The magic butt, the magic butt, the magic butt. Brody. I heard some of you guys are thinking about moving to Canada after the US election. Some celebrities voiced that if Trump won, they would move to Canada. For example, Amy Schumer, Whoopi Goldberg, Samuel Jackson, Cher, Miley Cyrus, Brian Cranston, and Barbara Streisand. These celebrities were just expressing how much they hate Donald Trump. Most of them probably own an extra piece of property already where they can hide out as long as they want in Canada. All that's fine because I'm more concerned in helping the everyday American make sure they know what they're getting into before they move to Canada. But before I get into detail about easing into the Canadian version of hipsterism, let's debunk a few of these myths that you guys think about us Canucks. First of all, we do not live in igloos. Global warming kind of ruined that for us, you know? Second, we are not assigned a moose named Charlie at birth. Well, not all of us. And for your information, moose can be up to seven feet tall and weigh 1,500 pounds, which by the way, is 700 kilograms. Thirdly, most of us don't live along the US border because we want to be close to our big brother. No, we live at the border because it's freaking cold, man. It's cold up here, dude. We gotta stay as south as possible while being in the best country in the world. Lastly, Bieber and Nickelback, they're not our problems anymore. Quit blaming us, they're yours. And just because Bieber's music has gotten a little better, it doesn't make him any better of a person, okay? All right, now that we got a few of those out of the way, let's talk about how you're gonna fit in. The first thing you'll need to work on is saying sorry. With everyone being offended by everything these days, it is a must. Not only should you say it, but you should mean it. We all know change can be scary, but that's the price you pay to live in Canada. Oh! Oh God, my hand. I'm sorry. The law here is pretty similar to the states. You can sue anybody just for about anything, but when it comes to stupid cases like suing Starbucks because you burnt your own hand, you can just take off. No one cares here. If you look at the sun and you're blinded, who are you gonna sue then? Ra, the sun god? Good luck with that, he's a fucking bird! When you come here, you're gonna have to relearn how to spell a few words. They're the same words, they're just spelled a little differently. For example, neighbor, color, check, Dialogue, favor, flavor, gray, humor, pajamas, theater, sulfur, and tumor. Oh, and I'm aware, yeah, I'm aware I spelled tumor the American way in my cancer videos. Us Canadians have to cater to the Americans all the time. Some of you might be thinking, why is Canada ruining the English language? And to that I say, who do you think made English? Nope, wasn't America. It was the English. Hey Brody, why does that matter? You're Canadian though. Canada's still connected to the UK. If you're still confused, just stay in America, please. <laughs> Next, we also have something called gun control up here. Oh, we still have guns up here, but mostly in the form of hunting rifles. Yeah, we hunt up here. And not just to show off you can kill an animal from a hundred feet away that weighs 10 times as much as you do. Wow, you're a real, you're a real man. You killed that. Woo, put him, put him on the wall, woo. We eat them and make beaver pelts. Handguns are pretty much useless when you're hunting, unless you're hunting humans. And in that case, please don't come to Canada. Canada isn't perfect. We have crime. Not as much as America, but we have crime. If you go to a random suburb in Canada, don't be surprised if you find a couple doors unlocked. But why are you opening people's doors anyway? What are you doing? All right, healthcare. If I lived in the States and I had my brain tumor, I'd be paying bills for the majority of my life. The point is, our system is, honestly, it's better than yours. So I think the way ours works is we pay extra taxes and then we get free healthcare. If you're an American immigrant and you can adjust to these changes, well, I guess you're ready to be a Canadian and get your moose. Uh, by the way, the, uh, the French are on the east side. So, uh, just saying, if you, if you want to avoid those guys, then, uh, yeah. You, you could go to the west, or you can go to the middle, or, hey, we got lots of room up north, you can go up there, but. Are you Canadian? Do you want Americans to move to Canada? Are you American? Do you want to move to Canada? Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So, grab a toque, pick a hockey team, memorize at least three Rush lyrics, and take the hockey hosers! Take the hockey! Moose t basically just tastes like beef, but a little moosier.
Rest in peace, Charlie. Hello, guys. I am Canadian, eh? Sorry about that. Poutine?